guys, welcome back to another Planet Coaster video. We're continuing on the career series today. We're going to be building four coasters today. You heard that right. Four coasters. So it's going to be quite the video. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so we have four main objectives for today, which are the coaster with five excitement, at least 400 meters long, and at least one inversion. Uh, then we have the coaster with the sixth excitement at least a length of 700 meters and at least five inversions which is gonna be interesting then uh, we will have to build two more coasters with additional uh, needs as well so we will start of course with the easy one we're going to make a coaster with at least five excitement a length of at least 400 meters and at least one inversion so uh, they've given us a lot of space to think about um, What I want to do for the first one is actually I want to use a part of this I don't want to use all of it because it only has to be a small coaster, but I want to use part of this place, so We're actually gonna make it go next to the train over here. That's what I think I will do And then I would come back and see what that will do all right, so we're gonna be using the crazy one because it has to invert and we'll, no, I have to change the station again we will put it so the train is going this direction so let's put it right over there then this thing uses a chain lift as most of these regular ones so let's just actually make that go up right away that's the steepest it can go so up up and I think that's high enough actually it should be good enough okay then make that long again make it go a little in and come back out <laughs> that looks funny. Alright, then back to the loop. Just a standard regular loop, which we want even bigger now. It looks like we got the room for it, so why not use it? Is that the biggest the game will let me pay to make it? That's fine. Let's see if it makes that. I hope it does. Okay, the fear is high though. Uh, but it's making it. And then a non inverted helix going up to the left side. And what does this do? That's not what I want. It's too big. Actually, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna make it so it does this. Then. Okay, so I think it's wiser to use uh, regular elements. So instead of just doing that, just make the helix up right away. Can we make it a bit further? Yes, we can. Then what we want to do here is just make that continue going this direction, but going down again. All right, does that make the track most important? Seems like it. So this is fine. Let's see, can we just have a heartline roll? Can we can we do that with this? Heartline roll entry left. Good. Midsection left. Oh. I feel make this different. 
because it doesn't align well with this, so I'm just gonna make it a bit out. Camera is messing up. Right, so heartline roll. Okay, and then just have that go back there. Alright, so we want to have a straight piece of track. That's that's good. That's good. All right, block station here. Then a normal piece of track. There we go. People are getting in. Bars are closing, which means it's gonna start. I mean, those supports though. of the lift but I'm fine with this this is fine all right so that's the first one of the checklist and we have three more to go I'll be right back all right so for our second coaster we need to build something with six excitement a length of at least 700 meters and at least five inversions so I'm I'm, I'm uh, pretty excited for that because I like coasters with inversions so uh, this one had two we only needed one so um, what I'm going to try and do is uh, make something that will please the audience. So uh, for something that goes um, in that many, many inversions, I think I want to try something different and go for the launched wing coaster. It's something I've been edging in my seat for it to try out, and it just looks amazing. So we need a long straight piece for that, which is going to be right over here, always next to the train. So let's make it like this. And let's see how fast can we get this. 161 kilometers an hour, that's good. That's really good. Alright, so we don't want to catwalk next to it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does it get to the desired speed? Is the question that we want to need. Well, it's getting there, alright. One more, okay. Then we want to exit that and go into a straight piece, which is going to take us all the way up here. And I want to see if that makes that, well, without any problems, of course. Okay. Now, can we make that come back? Here, then go straight down. Okay. And add a roll, which is gonna be a dive. Oh, actually, I can do this here. I can actually do this here. This. A dive roll, which I really like about these. Alright, so where is this that lead me? Alright, so that's that doesn't count as an immersion. But this this looking good. I wanna have it go in the direction. 
direction. prefer when it goes right, but I'm gonna have to make it go left. In midsection. And then exit. Alright, so it's going too fast for that. So, again. Mm, Alright, so we have one, two, three inversions right now. Two more to go. So what we will do is we will have it go down right here. Like this. And then twist it in a bit. Okay. And then, as far as loops go, I think this is a good option. I think this is a pretty good option. Okay, so... Can we make this into one last interesting bit? Because right after that, it's probably going to come to a halt. Alright, so then we will have a dive loop going left once more. And actually, let's just go a little crazy with this. Is this somewhat straight through the track? No, it's not. Alright, so this looks more like it. Okay. Have it go there. Okay, can we have something that looks like this straight? It has to be wide, of course, for the whole thing to fit that. I think that's what we need. Alright, then it's gonna be really rough, but let's uh, put some trims down. And right after that, the block station. It surely doesn't need really to be that long, but after that, you go in there. So, the thing I have to adjust right now is the operating mode, which I have to do something about. So, I'm trying to train this long. So, this piece, and this piece. Okay, I'm taking these numbers. I'm just, I'm just taking these numbers. This is, this is cool. <laughs> this is fine. The only thing I'm just worried about is how am I gonna be able to, uh... Thank you. Now... Let's test this. There we go. Second ride completed. <laughs> Two more to go. Let's open it up to the public and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so for the third one, we need again six excitement, uh, a most of four nausea, and a length of at least 1,500 meters. And it has 
It needs 10 inversions. Are you kidding me? All right, so this for this one, we uh, I think we will need to use the scenario a bit further than the island. So because it's so long, I think I'm going to have it go around this bit. I think that's something we could have it do. I think that's something we can do. Make that up a bit and we'll just leave that for now. Okay, so the actual coaster. This is gonna be interesting. 10 inversions, six excitement and a maximum of four nausea. How am I gonna do that? Yikes. Um, all right, so it's over here, it's over that, so. So we'll have it go down. And then I guess we will just have it. some footage due to me uh, not recording my mic so um, what I did is I fixed up the coaster so that uh, the test ratings actually um, go good so I'm pretty pleased with that for now 
so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if this is the right train, let's see. No, okay, we're just gonna watch, uh, I'd come back really quick. Cause I know where it is. Okay. What it looks like. So, the only issue for me are and I'm gonna be right back all right so I'm gonna go for the vector coaster I'm gonna have it like this sorry like this and then have it start right on the where am I gonna get it started hmm. people are walking over here so I th think I should be able to make a path from there. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it start right here on the water. Alright, so this is the launched bit. Set zero. We want a launch. I wanna go as fast as we possibly can. We want to cross a lot of space on the water. So we want to hold a holding station over here. I want to have a launch delay of uh, five seconds. So when it actually gets there. Then we reach the required speed. So I'm happy. This is fine. Let's just do what we want to do with that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have a better idea. 
let's just make it do the other one. Or another one to the left. Is that possible? It is possible, but we have to make it really small because I feel like this is a world border, so we can't go past that point. That's fine. Alright, so we have this weird noodle of autocomplete, which I'm totally fine with. Alright, so we have to slow it down a bit over there. Can we do that? This bit over here, can we? Friction brakes. Or magnetic brakes. I think those are better. Alright, so. You have to slow it down pretty fast, so. Let's see. Alright. Oh, well, that was so far for the fear. Shouldn't really add that much fear to it. Two hours later. Okay. Oh my god. Hell yeah. That took me so long for such a small thing. Oh gosh. Alright. Let's have you go back to the main area. And connect to that path. I don't even care that there's a bench in the way. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm not even going to let people on this thing. Uh, we're just going to watch it as it is back. Right cam. Show the results. Start to test. Now let's see what, what beautiful thing we have created. <laughs> As always guys I want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one this one took me quite a while to do uh, this is the complete part uh, for this career mode uh, I hope you enjoyed I will see you all in the next one